Hello, you beautiful individuals. Today, we are looking at something kind of different and weird. It's that little guy right there, actually. This thing. This handheld gaming console. One of those kind of cheapo ones you see on Amazon or Wish or wherever. It was like, I don't know, 20 some bucks, something like that. And yeah, I just thought it'd be a cool thing to check out. It is, it has ooh, 400 or something like that, 500 games preloaded on it. And it has quite a lot of different little emulator systems already put on it originally. Everything from a Neo Geo, Game Boy Advance, um, freaking original Nintendo system, Mega Drive or Genesis, if you know you're from here in America, <laughs> Game Boy Color, a bunch of them. And I just thought it'd be cool to check out a couple. You can also put video and music on it, though I don't know why you would want to do that, honestly. Uh, yeah, you know. Um, and ignore this little line here on the screen. It is, we let our two and a half year old play with it, so, you know, she dropped a couple times, but what are you going to do? It's definitely a great little cheap gift if you uh, have a gamer in your life or if you just simply want to find a cheap little system for your kid and, you know, don't want to worry about him breaking it because, like I said, it was only like 20 some bucks and it actually works pretty darn well. Plus, you have this right here. Slides out and looks like an old... Game Boy Advance cartridge, but actually, if you can see right in there, it has a spot for a micro SD card, so you can upload your own ROMs onto it. So yeah, it has quite a little bit of features to it for such a cheap little console. I believe it was, uh, what can it take, like, I think it can take up to a 32 gigabyte SD card in there, which, I mean, if you know anything about ROMs, that's quite a lot of them. Uh, it has this tiny little, I think, 3.7 volt or something or whatever battery. I can't, I can't remember. I, I know these are really cheap on Amazon themselves. And if you needed more batteries or whatever, it's not hard to get a new one. The battery life is probably one of my only complaints about this. It doesn't last the longest, but again... It's not terrible. It's usually a couple hours, if that. I mean, oh, and the other complaint, oh, Lord, for sure, would be this right here. Mini USB to charge it. Not micro. No, no, no. That would be, that would be too darn easy. No, we got to go for mini for whatever reason. Um, but, yeah, anyway, like I said, it has music, video, like, pictures, which I'm going to look and see what, Pictures even come preloaded on this. Uh, that's random. Um, yeah, here we go. We can show this one so you can kind of get an idea. It, it's not a bad little screen, honestly. I mean, the camera doesn't really do it the greatest justice, but it actually looks pretty darn good for what it is. And, yeah. I don't know what this one does, actually. Oh, PDF reader, texture, you know, because obviously... What, what, what would be a better thing to try to read a PDF or text or book on even than this little tiny three inch screen? <laughs> and yeah, it's, I don't know. It's something. It, it, it really is a cool little thing. I mean, I genuinely, I like this a lot, especially for how cheap it is. I mean, you can change your background and all that stuff and there, there's quite a bit of little customization and stuff to it for being whatever, 20 bucks. Change even the font color, sound settings, backlight timing, backlight settings. You can, This little button here does the brightness of it. There's only a few different brightnesses there. Um, but yeah, system info. Can you possibly tell me about this thing? Uh, apparently nothing except for try to make a freeze. While it, while it decides what to do. Oh, there it goes. 
Yeah, disk capacity, 3.27 gigabytes, apparently. And that's exciting. Doesn't really say who made it. I, I can't... I can't recall the name. It was some bizarre, you know, something I wouldn't be able to pronounce anyway. But yeah, besides the mini USB for charging and the battery that doesn't last the longest, it's honestly pretty damn cool. I like it. it has an AV out, which comes with it for plugging into the TV. So I don't know why you'd want to do that, honestly. And even has like the old school, you know, Game Boy Advance extension cord plug in there headphones little reset button other than that you got select start directional pad which really isn't too bad for what it is and then yeah four buttons little bumpers on top and yeah it's 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 a neat little thing and what i do really enjoy about it is you while playing you can save and then load at any point so if you're in the middle of a game, you can save at that point and load directly back to that point. So that's kind of a cool little thing. But yeah, we will just start right into it with the Game Boy Advance emulator. Let's check out... Hmm. Let's check out some Super Mario. That's a, always a classic. Try to make it so it doesn't look too terrible here. Oh, and I can, I can turn up the sound so you can hear the delicious, delicious sound. Yeah, I won't subject you to that for too long. It's it, it's not the best speaker in the world, you know. I mean, what are you going to do? But it, it's not terrible. Um, the games are definitely not always, like, named what they actually are. But, you know, what are you going to do? We're going to be good old Luigi here. For what it is, like I said, for 20 bucks, you really can't complain. I definitely can't. I like it. And yeah, it actually, it controls pretty darn well. I mean, it feels like playing a Game Boy Advance in a way, just with a heck of a lot more game options. So it's, it's pretty cool. And yeah, as you can see, it really doesn't look too bad. I mean, like I said, the camera won't do it as good of justice as it deserves. But for what it is, I mean, it, it looks pretty darn good. Uh, let's go back here and right here as I was saying you could save Instant archive and you can come back directly to that point all that good stuff. But we're gonna quit Check out something else What's another class? Oh, let's look at Sonic So this is where it will struggle a bit with games like this that You know are really fast-paced or whatever it it, it definitely doesn't you know, it, it doesn't hold up the greatest. doesn't look the greatest when you're zooming by. But, hey, like I said, you can't really knock it. Let's be good old Sonic. Zone 1 Act 1, why not? And it's not like... I mean, it's not like it's awful by any means. Quite frankly, it's not like it's much worse than the actual Game Boy Advance was, so... Yeah. I don't know. It's a cool little thing. I like it a lot. Especially for how cheap it is. Can't really beat it. Uh, we'll check out a couple more games here. Let's go for another classic. And I am trying to play this through the camera, so... Definitely not the easiest thing. Got Harvest Moon on here? Oh, crap, I didn't even know that. Castlevania? I got some of the coolest games on here. Mega Man. I mean, there's a lot of games, as you can see. This is just the Game Boy Advance ones, too. Obviously, there's a lot more. But I want to check out, if I could find it here. Maybe not. Um. Okay, wow. Well, Let's, oh, there we go. Let's just go with this. Screw it. Little Pokemon Fire Red. Yeah. Let's hear that soundtrack. And see, like I said, it doesn't sound bad. I mean, it's really not. It's just, it's not great. Not great at all. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's, 
the save file is okay. That's good to know. Oh, apparently I already started playing at some point. That's good to know. I didn't know that. But yeah, it's, it's, it's a little, what is this nonsense? No one cares. There we go. Yeah, see? It's a cool little thing. I wonder what Pokemon I have. Oh, wow. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I named my Charizard Kenneth. What else would you name Charizard? Duh. Um, alright. Let's check out... We'll check out a Bizarre game. And then we'll go check out a couple other little games in a different system. I saw a weird one that I thought looked... Well, looked. Sounded interesting. I think looked interesting would be the wrong word to use. There we go. Spider-Man. Let's see what Spider-Man's like on this thing. Because I'm sure it's going to be just great. And that's what's really cool about it is... I mean, you know, I had a Game Boy Advance growing up. But clearly didn't have all these games. So it's really cool to get to see and play some of these games that I never had the chance to as a kid. And also remember how, well, I was going to say amazing, but man, that's just not the word. The problem is after having a Switch, trying to go back to playing games like this, man, it's, it's rough. But some of these are actually fun. I will give it to it. Like playing the classic, especially Pokemon and stuff like that, I mean, it, 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 it's the nostalgia more than anything, but it's not bad. Oh, yeah, look at that. Man. Look at that. Look at that frame rate. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, it's, it's, you know, that's something. Anyway, let's go check out a different system. Let's see what else we got here. Let's check out... Uh, the SFC is, you know, Super Famicom, Fanicon, whatever, bullcrap, and the Nintendo and the Super Nintendo. Uh, you know, they go with the whole, whatever, European one. Um, you even have the original Game Boy as well. Let's check out the original Game Boy so you can get an idea for what it does for that. Uh, let's do Double Dragon. Why not? Yeah, that's what it does. It basically just gives you even less screen than you had before. But, you know, it's kind of... I guess the point. Yeah, look at that. Alright, let's get out of here. Definitely not a big fan of just playing the OG Game Boy. There's a couple games on there, but let's check out the Mega Drive. Ah, oh, here we go. Yeah, let's check out a Sonic on here. This will probably really show where it struggles, to say the least. And like I said, I mean, it still looks decent for sure. Like, the little screen on here is actually good. It it looks good. It's just, I don't know. When, when you start moving really fast, you can see it kind of struggle, I guess. But for what it is, yeah, you just, you can't beat it. I mean, I mean, look, look how decent that looks for a $20 game system with freaking, like I said, four to five hundred different games on it preloaded i mean that's 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 a that's a decent deal in my opinion this one like i said was off amazon i want to say you know it was 20 to 30 bucks i don't remember exactly how much it was but not too bad for what it is and you know if you made it this far into the video i'll just give a little announcement that if i buy some miracle make it to 1,000 subscribers, which is, I guess, the goal right now, I will be giving one of these away. Not this one, because this one's screens a little messed up, a different one. But yeah, I will give it away to a random subscriber. Uh, obviously, that'll be mentioned more if that time comes. Um, but yeah, let's check out one more game. Let's go with Super Nintendo here. Let's see. Um, let's do Mortal Kombat. Why not? I mean, you know, sounds interesting. Come on. 
Yes, I'm impatient. And yes, I know, pressing buttons over and over again does not make it go faster. But it's what I grew up doing. So it's what I keep doing. <laughs> there we go. Start. Let's be... Eh. Alright, let's just do the classic. Let's be Scorpion. Oh, I was going to just fight Sub-Zero. Oh, okay, I'm an idiot. Whatever. Uh, this will work. Oh, God. Oh, God, he's already, he's already murdering me. Okay. I do not know the buttons at all. Oh, well, he won. <laughs> all right. That's, but yeah, that's it. It is a cool little system. And for how cheap it is, you really, like I said, you just cannot beat it. So, yeah, if you like that, please subscribe, comment, like, all that good stuff. Uh, if you have any questions about it, feel free to ask in the comments. I will answer to the best of my ability. And there she is, a little retro handheld gaming console. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great rest of your day.